In this video, we will be learning about the organ, one of the oldest instruments still in use. We think organs first appeared in ancient Greece during the 3rd century BCE, and we even get the name organ from a Greek word meaning instrument or tool. This explains why body parts are also referred to as organs. The organ has a long history of use in the Christian church, dating back to the 9th century CE, with Charlemagne requesting one for his private chapel. Around the 13th century CE, the keyboards of organs began to resemble what we see in modern keyboard instruments. In the 14th century, the French composer Machaut called the organ the King of Instruments, a title that Mozart also bestowed on the instrument. During the Renaissance and into the Baroque, the organ developed more control over its tone colors with the introduction of stops. We will learn all about stops later in the video. Organs continue to grow and develop both in size and ability, and the modern organ is truly a spectacle of musical engineering. While some organs produce sounds artificially by using only electronic means, a true organ uses pipes and other mechanical methods to produce sounds. We will take a look at such an organ soon, but first I want to issue a huge thank you to Dwight Berry, the organist you will see in the video, as well as Will Viverett, who also assisted in the making of this video. I also would like to apologize for the choppiness of this video, as this recording session was very impromptu. I sometimes ran out of recording space and had to make room, which explains some of the badly timed edits. I hope you enjoy it, and here we go. This is the, uh, the blower uh -huh. that provides the air for the organ, and it just shoots it like goes in this wooden thing and it goes up this PVC pipe up until about where we're about to go. Cool. Let's see it go down. So, yeah, that is the bellow. And there's the main sanctuary out there. So we're up in the uh, <laughs> the rafters here. I can hear the, there it goes. Yeah, the bellows. Okay, you can turn it back on now. Yeah, even the little bellow up here went down. There's some uh, pipes over there. Yeah, the bellows went back up. Okay. I think we're in the great chamber. You're in the great? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Definitely can hear it. Some of the pipes do have uh, the caps on the top of yeah, them. Yeah, see, this stops. is how you tune it. You move these up and down, and it yeah. tunes it. Oh, sorry, do that again? I don't think I can. Yeah, just you move just move these up and, up down, and down and tune okay. it how you want it, yeah. Yeah, and even those big pipes yeah, over there, that's not... That's not cooling and heating system up there, ductwork. That is quite part of the organ. And that's the uh, bells behind you? Uh -huh. The block and yeah, these are the chimes. Yeah. Chimes, okay, there. Yeah, that's definitely more of a chime sound than a block and spiel. And I guess this is some of the circuitry. Yeah, and you have this little thing here when you're tuning it. You take this little pin and you stick it any of the notes you want to play and it'll automatically play it so you hmm. can tune it. Yeah, I imagine that's much easier. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's so cool. And there's the, so the wooden ones. Yeah, that's the Is that flute. the that's roar the, flute? Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the roar flute he was talking about. Yeah. And then these are the 16 foot pedal stops right here. Nice. Uh, wonder, oh, yeah. There we go. Getting a nice low. Oh, there's an extra 
Steel, uh -huh. I guess, to keep it from being corroded or something. Yeah. That's so cool. Can, uh, he could probably hear your voice better. Mind telling him to play some of the roar for the time. Do you mind playing some of the? I think it's probably on the pedal division, the eight-foot roar floater. Okay. No. no. That's on the other side, I think. Or is that the... Alright, try 16 foot flute, maybe. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. That, that's it. Yeah. yeah, we can hear the... I can feel the vibrations of it. If you can crawl under that, I think you can get over there. Get out of your way if you want me to. Yeah, let me see if I can. I'm gonna pop. And you said this is the uh, how long? 16, Six, 16 foot? 16 foot. But it's stopped, so it sounds like a, a 32? I, yeah. Because when you put the stop in the top, then it double the length. Yeah, that doubles the length, yeah. Lowers the pitch wow. an octave. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And of course, the chimes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a little tiny one, isn't it? Can you, well, yeah, I, can. I was going to say you probably, there you go. <laughs> I, was, I didn't know how sanitary it would be, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, so these, these are trumpets. Do we, can we see the reeds if we look down in there or is it further down? The reeds must be in that mechanism. I think it's inside of this thing here. Yeah. And is this little... I think that's how you tune, tune it. it. Yeah. yeah, that's what I assume. And I think that's the little flutes that he was talking about. Again, it's the little thing on the top. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can turn it on now. And there's the bellows right here. And this. Yeah, see those go up? The little one here again. I need to shut up. Like, volume control this. Oh, yeah. Open the swell shutters. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, that's the congregation area out in there. We have all kinds of sizes of pipes in here. Little teeny weeny ones. There's a temperature gauge in here. I mean, a thermometer. Let's see how hot it is up here because it is summer. Oh lordy. Man, I thought it was hotter than that up here. Almost 80 degrees. Okay, if you want to do the trumpets, it's probably going to be really loud. <laughs> shot and that one pipe right here was right next to my ear oh that's impressive <laughs> yes you can feel it the vibration Just because they're these, I guess these are bent so they can fit in here without hitting the ceiling. That's why that's like, yeah, I guess so. Um, so there's, 
this set over here and then there's that set over there yeah, and then that's this set it. is the top keyboard that you saw out there mm -hmm. is what this set is and another set was the bottom keyboard and the pedals okay and the rest of the only other pipes are ones that you see out in the yeah. congregation area yeah. right Uh, called the grate and which is the swell okay because this is a two manual organ not counting of course the pedals mm -hmm. um, okay I'll start okay. So that was the great you were just playing on That's with the, as well as the pedals and yeah this is swell and pedal strings And those are reed type, you said? Reed, these are trumpets. Yeah. And it's quite a cosmopolitan naming. You've got English, you've got French, you've got German. Depends on where the stop was created. I mean, most organs, like French organs, are going to have all French. Right. Uh, typically, and in German, you're going to have German, are going to have German stops. But Bordon, of course, is French. Mm hmm Rohrflöte is German. Rohrflöte. Trompette is French. Viola is just yeah. yeah. This is what happens with a with the Celeste. This is Viola. Here's the Celeste. So Celeste is actually more of like a vibrato. I know the word Celeste in, in Italian means heavenly. Yes. So Celestial. I guess. Yeah. But this is tuned like, okay, I'm going to put on uh, an eight foot flute here. Okay. Now I'm going to put on the Celeste. And it's actually two sets of pipes that are fluctuating between the two to well, give it. This one is tuned slightly sharp. Mm -hmm. When you are tuning a guitar, how do you know when the string is in tune? Because there's no beat. Woo, mm -hmm. woo, woo, right. Straightens right. Up. right. But on the organ, the only way you can do that is have two pipes sounding at the same time. Mm -hmm. So there's the viola. And then when I put the one that's slightly out of tune. So here, this is not very pretty. This is prettier. More celestial. Mm -hmm. And then if I want to automatically do this. Swell, swell four. Ah. And if I do swell to swell sixteen, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, brings in some extra pipes there. Yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. But uh, so you're able to essentially with the swell to swell and stuff like that, you're able to add octaves and above and is it always above or below. Uh, well, uh, obviously, swell to swell 16 is mm -hmm. going to be below. In yeah. other words, if I have a uh, 
a flute here. Eight foot. Eight feet here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that means like middle C pitch. Middle C, okay. And then when you do a four. That's an octave above. Mm -hmm. and 16 would be an octave below. Exactly. Okay. That's, I, if I recall correctly, I think a trumpet is somewhere around eight feet in length. I know it's tuned, I think it's fundamental as B flat, so I don't think it would be yeah. around exactly eight, yeah, but it's somewhere it's around there. Somewhere, I think French horn is like 12 or Because mm -hmm, that's so. usually tuned to F, yeah. Unless exactly. it's a double horn, it has extra tubing. Now, the tremolo, uh, the bellows, foo, 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 foo. It I wish, uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, we should have maybe got, yeah. yeah. Ah, yeah, that's, yeah. Tremolo and Celeste are not the same. Mm -hmm. It but is. But you need that when you have a solo going on. Without the tremolo, it's straight. Mm -hmm. A little too bland, it needs a little yeah. warmth, yeah. Just like a, a flute player puts straight. Mm -hmm beginning flute player doesn't. Right, straight tones, yeah. and usually out of pitch with other flutes. <laughs> but now on the pedal board, okay, I'm holding middle C here. Mm -hmm. Here is <clears throat> 16. Right. Foot stop, mm -hmm. eight. Okay, I'm gonna do uh, some Bordons. Okay, this is eight feet. And you said Bordon in French Bordon. means... Bordon means, Bordon means the buzzing buzz, like that the, the bee <laughs> makes, yeah. It sounds nothing like a buzz to me, but... <laughs> well, <Bordon>. like, <laughs> listen, listen when I pull it on. Yeah, now that, that can be a little buzzy, yes. Okay, hmm. so that's 16. And now we'll go some eight. And then we'll do four. Now I'm going to start adding some. This is another eight, but it's diapason. And then trumpet. So if I want to add the trumpet, see how they're conveniently placed? Right. I can just grab them. I assume on a switch stop. What, what's the if? Did you just call them switch? tabs? Tabs. tabs um, if it has those instead of these, they would also be in a oh, similar oh, location, oh, yeah. so you could hit exactly. multiple. Exactly. So you could make that. And they, there would be some here, and there'd be some there. Mm -hmm. You know, they would be spread out. Let me show that this is for the grate. Mm -hmm. Now, um, how many manuals is the most you've personally played on? I studied on a four manual okay. organ. I have played on a five manual, but mm -hmm. uh, four is enough. I would, yeah. <laughs> Three is, is good. I mean, I have difficulties playing on two. It's just not enough for right. And a lot of people say, why do you have two manuals? Yeah, they always think that this is lower pitched and that's higher pitched, exactly. but that's not the case. This is what happens. This is accompaniment. Now I want to have a solo here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was surprised you don't have oboe and bassoon because I was going to ask you, do those have double reeds on the pipes just yes. like the real instruments do? Yes. Okay. Uh, oh, oh no. <clears throat> no, it, it's it's just that same. It's just a different size. Okay. Okay. But like if I, I have and I want to do a solo up here, then I can. See, this allows you to bring the swell stops to the grate. Mm -hmm. See if I have that. See, anything I pull on the swell will automatically go to the, to the right. right. But for example, here we go.
getting a completely different sound from your right hand than you are your left. And even then, with the bass, you can give that a different sound, right? And the feet have to do the very same thing that the hands have to do. Without the benefit of seeing them. <laughs> it's a keyboard. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Complete with the accidentals, uh, exactly. the black keys. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you play very quickly, you do the, you alternate between heel and yes. toe, right? These two down here, of course, are um, the brake and the gas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're not wearing your seatbelt, by the way. You might get ticketed. You might want yeah, to. This will on. take, like, if you have a full organ going here, right. which would be eight here. He has it set for that. Uh, it's going to add a little bit. But not much. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, barely noticeable. Yeah. Now that's that's a little more noticeable. Yeah. There's a little more juice. But see, so many of these are unenclosed, so you you have yeah. no control of the uh, volume yeah. whatsoever. Now, if the pipes are are unenclosed, you you have no. And you showed in the right the shutter. The shutter yeah, the and shutter. we see the shutters, which would be the kind of almost like screen looking areas right. there. But now. The, the, these are, uh, the, what did you call the pedal pistons? Toe again? studs. Toe studs, but they are essentially are the pistons. Uh, they're they're duplication are... of the, like I can do one here, mm -hmm. or I can do it here. And the pistons get you basically program the stops ahead of time so you can yes. quickly switch. Yes. Uh, can you give me a quick demonstration of like switching between one piston okay. and set and another? Typically, the pistons are designed to go from soft to loud, mm -hmm. unless you, now he has to change them every week to do something. I mean, it's like, right. oh, you need a, a, another solo stop, so he'll fix it just for that service, and then right. he'll go back. Uh, so you can see how eight is full organ. One is about as quiet. Mm -hmm. With the bellows. The bellows. Because in the old days, how did they do it? Yeah, they had to. <laughs> by hand. By hand. Yeah. Uh, I remember playing at Lawrenceville Episcopal Church. Their organist mother died, and they were getting ready to do Stainer's Crucifixion, and I had just finished conducting that for mm -hmm. Choral Society. Mm -hmm. And so they said, can you please come on? But fine. <clears throat> Ray went with me. Uh, and he operated the bellows. <laughs> it still had the bellows. Oh, yes. And it's oh, wow. easy. I mean, it's not very difficult. Yeah. It's very easy, but he, he did it. Now, they do have it set so you can flip a switch and it does it. Oh, and it will. Be. And like I told you, like very, it looked very much like those pedals there, except it was um, a slanted bench. And it was just, um, it had two manuals, too. But it was like a little one that you had to operate with your feet. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, there was no pedal board. But you... Um, 
It there was like a little reed organ. Yeah. Now see, modern organs have radiating concave convex pedal mm -hmm. boards. Yeah. You see that? Uh, which is wonderful because when you turn this way, your it, foot naturally wants to do that. But right. in Europe, they're all straight. And yeah. I have thrown my hip out. Yeah, I've seen the one that Bach uh, played on at uh, Wittenberg, I think, or somewhere. And it, it, it was all Leipzig. <clears throat> yeah, it probably was. The um, last 25 years. Yeah, because Wittenberg, that was Luther. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm getting, the cathedral. Yeah, getting yeah. them getting them confused there. Yeah, uh, yeah he was he was Leipzig. Leipzig, yeah. For uh, twenty five years. Oh yeah. Did a lot there too. God love him. But um now the term diapason, we already covered reed. Diapason just means an open pipe and then you have No diapason is a family of stops. Okay. Uh that is the only stop that really is <clears throat> peculiar to the organ. And not trying uh, to simulate an or yeah, or it's not orchestral to. instrument. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's not pacing, that's mm -hmm. not pacing. And then it's a family. So normally you do two and all that. Were those oh. the metal pipes that yes. had that were just plain pacing. metal? Well, diapasons can also be wood uh, with a stopper in the top, stopped okay. diapason. Yeah. It, it can do that. Did you see how they, uh, okay, the metal pipes, do you see how they can be tuned? Right. They had this slide. slide. Now, the reeds had a little, yeah. I think it was like a little. What a pain. Yeah. <laughs> I, I never passed that around the classroom because. If somebody so got sensitive. that out of whack, oh, mm -hmm. it's impossible to get it back yeah. in. But then any kid, I mean, I would illustrate this at my church. I'd say, what is that? And they'd go, oh, the flute. It yeah. sounds like yeah. a flute. Yeah, it's supposed to, yeah. Now the, uh, <clears throat> the trumpet... And you say, oh, sound like no trumpet. Well, <laughs> well it does sound a little more reedy, but that's because this has a yeah, reed in it. Yeah, when you get yeah. your... Uh... is basically like <clears throat> orchestration for the organist. Exactly. You have to pick the stops ahead of time, and every organ's different. I imagine you want to get to play an organ first. Organ composers on the music will put up at the top left page, they'll say, okay, on the swell, I would like to have strings. Mm -hmm. Okay, and maybe if it's a three manual on the swell, get strings. And then I would like a, a eight foot oboe solo stop on such and such a manual. Mm -hmm. So you know what the composer wants. Yeah. Now, whether or not he gets that depends on how I like that sound. I mean, I'll yeah. think I would rather have a French horn sound the, uh, there. So than, basically oh. registration is like orchestration again for the organ and uh, an organist, organ composer may specify, but you may have to improvise. Yeah. And that's part of it. It's not just playing the right notes at the right time. It is, there's an art, and that's what you said you're working with Will on is. And the registration uh, <coughs> can be controlled by the pistons, mm -hmm. usually is, or you can add to it as you're going. See, it's like that, and if I wanted to do something over here, mm -hmm. I can do 
do it by hand, or I can do it with another piston. I imagine sometimes you just improvise with that. Maybe oh, yeah. you'll be, sure. you'll have uh, your registration picked out ahead of time. I'm not going to learn a post salute to play for people to stomp out. Yeah. Sorry. So I <laughs> yeah. Just, this is called a voluntary. <laughs> The one you play on is, remind me again, is that fully electric? It's fully electric, but it okay. is the largest organ in this area. Uh, if it were a, oh, then you need to get into the uh, ranks. Ranks. Like when you have one stop, mm -hmm. Borden. Uh, well, let's put principle here. A rank, when I pull this one stop, I have to have 61 pipes that sound like the diapason holy. That's Is that rank. standard for a manual and organ, yes. 61, as opposed pedal to, what, 88 30. on the pedal piano? Is yeah, pedal is pedal's 30. 30. Okay, 32. 32. Okay, 32. Uh, so that's a rank. I mean, they're usually more mm -hmm. lined up. And then if I pull the Borden, I've got to have 61 pipes. Right. So that's a rank. So you tell how large an organ is by how many ranks right. it has. Now, sometimes, okay, see here, mixture Roman numeral three. Right. That means when I pull that one stop, okay, I'm going to do this. Now watch what happens. See, by itself, hmm. it's not very pretty. But you can't play this type of thing if you don't have a mixture. It, it yeah. just doesn't work. Um, yeah. Hmm. Doesn't have the it bite to it. The, oh no! It, yeah. You just have, have to have that glitter. It gives it, yeah, articulation. Oh, yeah. yeah. Three. Now that so that's three ranks of pipes. Three ranks of okay. Uh -huh. And, and then, then you have what's called fraction stops over here. See, here's a here's a flute and a wonderful solo stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Nazard is two and three fifths, isn't it? Three right, fifths? two and three fifths. Yeah. Okay, now notice what this does. You can hear it better down here. Mm -hmm. It automatically plays the fifth. Huh. Okay, so if I'm... Huh, now See? when does that come in use? It's been in use for a long time, and this is how you use it. Because parallel like, fifths are usually looked down upon, right? Yeah, that would be automatic. Notice this. I'm going to put the tremolo on, okay. and then I'm going to... Uh, let's do it just... Makes a wonderful solo stop. But unfortunately, you can't have low ones. See, that you know, I didn't even notice nice. the fifth. I guess because it's just in the overtone series. Exactly. Um, 
huh. the Lizard is used only for, I don't like yeah, that, it used with full organ. It's just solo stop. It's barely noticeable. Yeah, but that's why he can't play it low. Yeah, then the start it accents yeah. that fifth, and he can't do it. Now, yeah. then we have the, the quint, one of the third here, Spitz quint. All right, now I'm gonna do, I've got that on again. So it adds two octaves above? Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's it's a wonderful stop for Bach to do this. Uh, let me see here. If I can what see. are you looking for? Cornet, we call it. It's wonderful. Bach used that type of thing all the time. Rather than having some pure die pace in our mm -hmm. flute. And notice I'm going to take this off. See how mm -hmm. powerful it is when you're doing that. Okay. Take them both off. These are called fraction stops. <clears throat> That's just pure eight, four, mm -hmm. two type. Mm -hmm. But when you add these fractions, it makes a nice solo stop. It really does. Um, and and this is a, uh, a Reuter. Reuter. It's pronounced. 1984. Reuter. He said that's when this organ was installed yes. in 84. Yes. And I was here, the, the, uh, the guy who installed it, I came over to mm -hmm. see and everything. He said, okay, you need to play so I can walk around and all this. So I'm going, I was here an hour and a half or so. Oh, wow. Uh, because you have to voice. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some people who like, organists get to have some kind of choice over this. Like some people may want more bite. Mm -hmm. with something like that I mean they might and, and you can do that and the different fruit flutes the roar okay yeah completely they, different timbre to it yeah, yeah they're but they're both flutes mm -hmm. and you can have diapasons that are wood most diapasons are metal. And do you know the two metals that are used? They look like galvanized steel. No. That we were... What, what type of metal is it's it? It's tin, tin and lead, period. Okay. So, yeah, it, it had a galvanized look to it, but yeah. I guess maybe no, that's a... Tin and lead. And depending on how... If you have more lead in it, do you think it's going to have a more jingly sound or a more woofy sound? More well, woofy. Yeah. And now is, is there organs. health concerns now that I was up there? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't nice. But it's not as sparkly as the Castle Van Freya. But that's nice. And it's voiced yeah. wonderfully. For yeah, I, li I like the string sound on this one. Oh, but it is wonderful. But I guess it's kind of like um, the difference between playing a... Japanese built piano versus a German, you know, yeah. one's, one's going to have a more of a yes. tinny sound, and yes. I guess that goes for every instrument. You learn the manufacturers, you learn what, how, you know, mm -hmm. it's all different. Rufati is an Italian organ. Oh, God. <laughs> it's typical Italian. I mean, it's extremely oh, wow. loud, extremely bright. Uh, I mean, I like it when somebody's playing something big, like the Sassons or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, because he was an organist. As, as, oh, as, yeah. yeah, he did the famous organ symphony that I adore mm -hmm. so much. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, that, that was is just such a wonderful, wonderful piece. Mm -hmm. um, but and me not being, I, you know, I guess I need to state for the record, I'm not an organist. I do play piano, but barely play it. Um, but <laughs> you know, this this is why I don't really. I mean, I, mean, I took. You know, humanities under you back in the '90s, and we did learn a lot about the organ, but that was some time ago. Mm -hmm. And this this is great for me because when we 
covered the organ in my class, um, I'm sure I'd, there are things that I don't fully comprehend or remember. So that's why I wanted to document this. Is well, and I have had former humanity students who would be somewhere, Gloria, like the cathedral or wherever, and they'd say, I know mm -hmm. what this is. Yeah. I, mean, I know what those pipes are. I know what they do and all that. And it and makes it so much more approachable. Oh, you don't feel like, you know, you're an alien in a strange land. Mm -hmm. um, Just like people coming to Rosemary, they think the chimes hanging up there are pipes. They think it's pipes. Oh, wow. No, they're just chimes. Yeah. But I mean, there are pipes that look like pipes, yeah, but, but they're chimes. chimes. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> and is, didn't you say the one at, uh, at your church, it was uh, the little hammers? Maybe that was someone else that told me they no, had chimes, a. chimes, um, that's how they are played. I know, but they, it was a special, some kind of, something unique about the mechanics and the way it played. I don't know if that was someone else that was telling me that. It's been somewhere else. Okay. No, uh, occasionally there's a felt on there and occasionally mm. they just sort of wear thin <gasps> oh no and so uh wesley, it really piercing <laughs> oh, it's awful <laughs> clang and wesley will get his happy little ladder and he'll yeah. go up and i'll play one and, and oh, then wow. he'll fix it okay next you know we fix it ourselves yeah because it costs a fortune if you have the tuner come i uh, don't but, you understand the footage yeah like this this is middle c um uh, concert pitch right that's what concert, yeah whereas when i do a four foot of course it's going to be there two foot is going to be here mm -hmm. now swell to swell four feet mm -hmm. uh, yeah if i am playing that now there are more than there are 73 pipes Mm -hmm. to stops up here. Why? Because uh, if I am playing and then you add the octaves to it, yeah, yeah. And if I add this, it's got, so mm -hmm. you have to have 73 instead of 61. And that shows you how much math is related to music oh and why, like, word. you know, the earliest musicians on record were all mathematicians from Greece because Ooh. that's how they figured out the pitch Keep relation. this in mind, too. I'm happy to lend you pipes. I have a, mm -hmm. oh, some yeah, pipes sure. in my house. Sure. Okay, this always blows people's minds. When you stop a pipe, like those pipes are probably eight feet tall. Uh, and when you stop them, the law of physics says it doubles the length of the pipe. Mm -hmm. Or lowers it an octave. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, if you take the stopper out, it goes, it goes up, up an octave. Up an octave. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just the law of physics. Because a lot of times, <clears throat> like the 32, it, do you think a 32-foot stop pipe would no. fit anywhere? 16 with a stop on the top. Yeah. Yeah. No, it would have to be 16 with a stopper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. we saw some of those up there. Yeah. 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 Uh, and those wooden... Uh, pipes there. They they all have stops in the top of them, don't they? Because yeah. I see the little. Yeah. Let's see if I can zoom in here. You and can see the little like them. handles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That type of thing. Yeah, it's not really uh, focusing much, but. Do yeah. they have handles? I can't see. Yeah, they, if you look at the ones over there on the left, yeah, you can see do. the little handles. But, uh, but yeah, those may not. Because, oh, uh, it's called the swell mm -hmm. because that used to be the only keyboard under expression. Mm -hmm. That was the only one that you could uh, alter the volume. Originally called the swell because only the swell side has the shutters. Well, originally that, the yeah. only manual that you could increase and then that were enclosed in a chamber was yeah. the swell. And it was called, the, a third keyboard would be called a choir. Choir. Because yeah. the stops there were most suited to accompanying the choir. The choir, okay. It's called the grate because it has the loudest. And the grate's on the bottom, the swell. Okay. Yeah, if you a have a two choir. manual, it's going to be great. However, because the Presbyterian organ is French, one is the grate and the other one is the positif instead of swell because it's French. So positif in French, I guess, means swell? <laughs> well, you've got to call it something French. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, if you have four, what is the fourth one called? It can be different things. It can be echo. It can be solo. This, 
you get to pick. Okay. <laughs> because so, yeah. it doesn't matter what it's called. It, it doesn't alter the stops. But you've never seen an organ with a pedal board and just one manual. It's oh, always a swell. Oh, there, there are ones. The okay. organ in uh, Lawrenceville that okay. I play has one manual and a pedal board. Now, was that manual a grade or a swell? Well, if it's just one, it's just, just great. call it a manual. I just Oh, okay. <laughs> but, I mean, did it have the shutters? Did it have the ability? Okay, so it was no. more like a great if you had to put a name on it, exactly. I guess. So, now, is, has there been any really strange names for stops you've seen? Or are they pretty much all, you know, either... Pretty standard. Pretty standard, yeah. Um, there are some... Oh, I'm trying to think. I mean, I've seen... You know, like, like we said, this one doesn't have oboe. I've seen bassoon. Uh, pretty oh, yeah, much you have all bassoon, the bassoon, yeah. I have bassoon and contrabassoon. Usually, it's called fagot. Fagot, yeah. <laughs> Which around here they probably pronounce yeah, it a little differently. Oh, exactly. <laughs> um, and British people think they mean a cigarette. Exactly. <laughs> Although the uh, the trombone was the uh, sack butt. Sack butt. Yeah. You know, <laughs> <laughs> Say, <who did> that? <laughs> it won't <won> me. <laughs> That's great. That's great. Uh, 